So today we've got uh, Highcom software plugged into a 2016 Kia Sportage. So if we have a quick look at an auto scan, so click on the auto scan button, and then I just got the VIN number, so I'll paste the VIN number into this box. I've oh, got a few extra spaces there to delete, and there we go. So now if we just use the VIN, uh, so the top, sorry, and it will decode that for us. There we go. Okay, and now it's going to run through an auto scan, going around all the different systems on the vehicle to give us uh, a list of all everything it's spoken to and um, any faults it's found. So it works its way around everything that could be fitted to the car. Okay, and there slowly. Brilliant. So we've got a list here of all the systems and it's showing all the fault codes. So, so we've got a fault code there showing on the engine. So we can go into the engine and have a look at what that is. Okay, so if we read the fault code memory, uh, oh, there you go, it's an unknown code. And we can also go and have a look at what else. So we've got um, actuations, or actuators, sorry. So a list of different actuators that we could run on, on this engine. That's a good list, okay. And let's go back and see what else we've got. Uh, so if we go into coding, Okay, in, so in coding we can see we've got uh, DPF regeneration, we've also got injector calibration and reading and writing. Now it's DPF regeneration I'm most interested in because that's something I'm going to need later on. So let's go and have a look at that. Okay, we've got a nice set of instructions here. So we've got some prerequisites, coolant temperature above 70, engine idle, electrical system, sort of heat draws on. So yeah, okay. So it's quite comprehensive instructions on it there, but I'm not going to run it right now. We'll come back and run this later on. So I'll just click no on here. Go back. Okay, and we'll drop out of here for the minute. Um, I can see there's some systems on the list. Uh, what else should we have a look at? Um, oh, in fact, if we go back to the engine, we can have a look at the, the live data. I didn't show that in there. So if we go back into our engine, look at the measured values. You can see there's a whole list of, of live data that we could look at on the engine. That's a pretty substantial list. So just pick something that uh, we're going to be able to change, uh, see changing. So there we go. So if we press the pedal, and release. There you go, you can see that live data value changing. Right, so if we uh, drop back out of here, see which other systems that we can have a look at. Um, so, yeah, the brakes. So, we can see a list of actuators that we've got available in the, the ABS system. Drop back out of here. And let's go look at the, I think, the instrument cluster. Okay, so we've got a good list of actuators in here again. Now, which other says is body control module. That's always a good one to look at. Again, we've got another good list of actuators then within the body control module. It's quite a substantial list there. Let me just drop back to the main menu. Great, now well, thank you for watching and if you've got any questions on HICOM or anything else diagnostics related, please give us a shout at gendan.co.uk.